first time y'all saw me talk about church clothes, there was a lot of discrepancy and a lot of miscommunication about my, my words. Um, I never said it's not for Christians. Some people heard me say, Christ, they, because I said Christians, this isn't what you're used to, they heard, this is not for Christians. Um, and that's not the case. Um, I think it would be very good for a, a Christian audience. Um, but my intentionality in doing it was not to say, hey, body of Christ, let me give you food for thought and to think of. My intentionality with this mixtape um, is really to bring some credibility to the Christian, um, to what the perspective of Christianity within hip hop culture. What's going on fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lecky Murray. And I'm back with the second part of the three part Lecrae series, where we go in depth with Lecrae's story up until the present day. Last week we spoke about the rise of Lecrae and we stopped in 2012 when Gravity was released. Today we will go over what I call the fall of Lecrae. Now when I say fall, I do not mean that Lecrae fell off in the sense of a negative way. I mean this is a fall because this is the time Lecrae was at his high as a career, but this is also a time of personal lows. We will be going over the end of 2012 to 2016. I am so excited to cover this. Again, thank you for the love we got for the first video. And now, here is the fall of Lecrae. Go lucky, go lucky, go, go, go lucky, go lucky, go, go, go lucky, go lucky, go, 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 as Lecrae released Gravity, his sixth studio album. Up until this point, Lecrae was the most significant Christian hip hop artist, period. No one went as far as Lecrae to get the exposure the way Lecrae had up until that point. Lecrae was a mainstay at the Dove Awards and Stella Awards. The mainstream was on high alert when Lecrae dropped church clothes and Gravity in 2012. Critics praised Gravity in many ways, both all Hip Hop and Billboard were very positive towards Gravity after a preview listening session, considering it Lecrae's most influential and most mainstream work to date. All Hip Hop stated that overall, it appears that Lecrae is ready to offer one of the most broad and, dare we say, mainstream albums in terms of sound, yet it still managed to capture the trueness of what he has always stood for and rap. If anything, Gravity is a giant step forward for his expanding career, and it will surely be a welcome addition to many top 10 lists when 2012 comes to a close. Indivision Music is announcing the cover of Gravity called the album likely the biggest Christian hip hop album yet. All hip hop listed Mayday as one of the standout tracks on the album, noted the beautiful melody and hook by Ashton Jones at CCM Magazine said that Lecrae has officially arrived as the top star in the scene and that the artist has his finger on today's production trend. Gravity won Best Gospel Album for the 2013 Grammy Awards. Your, your fellow uh, nominees and, and also fans were talking to us. They kept talking about passion. That, that convi convention, is it, when there are 10,000 young people? Yes. Right. Tell us 60, about 60,000. Wow. So tell us about that. Yeah, it's it it a, a wonderful experience. You know, for me, um, technically, I'm a hip hop artist. And so it's, it's amazing to even be nominated in the gospel category because I'm a hip hop artist, but I can walk in both worlds. And so to be able to walk in that world and, and in, ignite and inspire 60,000 young people um, is, a, is a wonderful thing. And then turn around and go do, you know, MTV the next day is crazy. <laughs> it was the first time that a hip hop artist won the award. At the 2013 Devil Wars, the album won Rap Hip Hop Album and the song Tell the World featuring Mali Music won Rap Hip Hop Record Song of the Year. Gravity was also Best Rap Hip Hop Gospel CD of the Year at the 2014 Stella Awards. Lecrae with mainstream hip hop giving him a strong look and Lecrae selling more and more albums, there was more intentional distancing from Christian rap. With the interview, Lecrae would correct the interviewer about being called a Christian rapper. 
Just, Speak I'm, for yourself. <laughs> well, he's a Christian rapper. Is, is that the? Is that what they call a Christian rapper? I'm a Christian and I'm a rapper. Okay, right. so, but he's not a Christian rapper. You're not in your. I don't like boxes. Okay, join D. Yeah. I consider myself a, a, a Christian hip hop artist, and 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 there's a it's a it's a philosophical reason for me. You know what I'm saying? You could read my book, but it doesn't mean I. If you want to call yourself that, I think it's whack. It just means in the same way, like um, you know, some people may say. Uh, you know, are you black or African American? I may have a preference over which one I prefer to be called because, you know, I have a philosophical per view on that. Um, but no, I support y'all. I love y'all. I'm grateful for y'all. You know, I've, I, I'm like this whole new crop of cats, like no big deal. Ty Brazel, uh, Brazel, Brazel, I don't know how you even say it, but Ty, uh, you know, my man Cannon, uh, you know, like, Man, I support. I'm excited about them all. You know what I'm saying? Like dudes like Surf Gang always showing love and shouting me out, and it's like dope to to realize you've influenced so many people sure. in a positive way. So, um, so I support. I I just have, I believe that some people make music for the church. Some people make music from the church to the world, and um, and I and I have a perspective on that. And for me, I'm like, I don't want to be exclusively for the church. Um, so I wouldn't want to paint myself into that box. But if that's what you, I shouldn't call it a box, paint myself into that picture. But if that's you, then do it and do it to the best of your ability and kill it. Yeah. A lot of people were saying that Lecrae wanted to be accepted by the mainstream. And I believe that you cannot judge him based off your assumptions. We can only assume. I think people get upset and emotional when they start believing they know why I did something, right? Like, I know why he did that. I know why he... Uh, didn't blast Kanye in that interview. He wants to be accepted by them. And I'm like, no, that's not why. But you assume my motives. Um, but a lot of it, man, has just been, you know, the media loves sensationalism. And I just try not to give them an opportunity to, to sensationalize anything I say. They also love to pigeonhole Christians and put us back in, um, I don't know, man, the early 90s late 80s when, when Christianity was really like all about pointing out the wrong things in culture. I think at the time doing this, Lecrae wanted to make more of an impact. With the label of Christian rapper, you are held to an automatic standard. Some of these standards based on individuals and it can be challenging to navigate. People say that Lecrae was doing it for the money. And Lecrae noted in many interviews that he makes more money on the Christian side to the mainstream hip hop side. You have to note that during this time, Lecrae had a lot of firsts. The first rapper artist to win a Grammy award. He also was the first rapper to chart on the gospel charts. He was the first to come out and do what he did. So a lot of hiccups will happen. In 2013, Lecrae released the follow up to Church Clothes with Church Clothes Volume 2, hosted again by Don Cannon. The mixtape debut at number 21 on the Billboard 200s, number one on the Billboard Christian albums and gospel album charts, and number three on the rap album charts. On datpiff.com, the album was downloaded over 146,000 times by November 26, 2013. On June 3rd, 2014, Lecrae announced through social media that his seventh studio album would be entitled Anomaly. Anomaly is my favorite album because it's my most secure, confident, um, just kind of understanding who I am album. You know, I think a lot of times people have watched me grow and watched me kind of figure out stuff. You know, unfortunately, you know, as you're trailblazing and you're making moves, you don't have the luxury of like, you know, uh, making mistakes behind closed doors or, uh, figuring out how to do stuff behind closed doors. You're doing it in front of the public. So if if I, you know, am looking clumsy or kind of like, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm growing in my own skin in front of the world. So this album is like, ah, I, I get it. I'm not saying I, I got it all the way, but I went from having an understanding of a concept and a desire to like, like really living in it. The album released on September 9, 2014. It's supported by the single Nothing. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200s with over 88,000 copies sold through the first week. It is the first time an album topped both the 
200 in the gospel album charts. Lecrae also became the first artist following Chris Tomlin, Toby Mac, Leon Rimes, and Bob Costell to score a number one album on both Christian album and the Billboard 200. Anomaly also marked the sixth time that Lecrae topped the gospel album charts and the fifth time he beat the Christian album charts. In the second week sales, the album sold 31,000 copies, bringing the total to 120,000 copies sold. In the third week of sales, the album sold again 17,000 copies, bringing the total to 137,000 copies. Anomaly went on to sell over 500,000 copies and was certified gold by the RIAA on August 26, 2016 as a reward for the fans for their support in helping his album go number one. On the Billboard, Lecrae released the song Nonfiction. As a free download on September 17, the song subsequently released on October 21st, 2014 in the iTunes store. The single All I Need Is You from the album nominated for Best Rap Performance at the 57th Annual Grammy Awards. And on June 12th, 2019, the song certified gold by the RIAA. On January 5th, 2016, Lecrae released his third mixtape, Church Close 3. The mixtape debuted at number 12 on the Billboard 200s and number 1 on the Christian Rap and Independent Chart, selling some 29,000 units. In August 2015, Lecrae announced his upcoming memoir titled Unashamed, which was on May 3rd, 2016. Published by P&H Publishing Group, a subsidiary of Lifeway Christian Resources. It opened at number 19 on the New York Times bestsellers list. In May 2016, Lecrae signed to Columbia Records. Hip-hop gospel artist Lecrae is signing with Columbia Records. The Atlanta-based artist signed with the company after a decade of success with his own label, Reach Records. Columbia is the biggest label under Sony Music, and Lecrae will join some of the most popular names in music, like Beyonce, Adele, and Pharrell Williams. Lecrae has helped to bring a faith message to hip-hop his latest album, Anomaly, debuted at number one on the Billboard Top 200 albums. And his hit single, All I Need Is You, earned him the 2015 nomination for Best Rap Performance. Congratulations, Lecrae. Why did you sign with Columbia, bro? So what we did... That, su that surprised me, man. I'll, I'll be honest yeah. with you. It's not a traditional deal, so I think people look at it like, yo, you gave up everything. We didn't. It, it, I mean, just being honest, it's a... It's a uh, it's not like a joint venture or anything like that. We still maintain 100% of the rights of Reach Records wow. and, and all of that. It's really a, kind of a um, uh, 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 us coming together to work on a project, specifically my project. So gotcha. them saying, hey, we can do this. It's more like a, you know, you, uh, you bring on a, how somebody would bring on a consultant or somebody else, a contractor to, to do something else. And there's two reasons for me personally. One is, the Lecrae show, just me as an artist, is a lot of time, effort, and energy um, to put on the back of Reach Records. And I never wanted to be the artist that signed a bunch of people and they couldn't get any leeway or any, they couldn't yeah. take off because the label spending all their time, effort, and resources on, you. on me. Yeah. I think that's whack. So let's take all of this stuff and dump it in somebody else's plate where they do this all day and we'll sit as advisors and tell them, no, nah, don't do this, do that, don't do this, don't do You know what I mean? We Lecrae also had a successful anomaly tour as well, headlined with DJ Promote and Andy Minio. With success comes the downfall, and Lecrae was struggling with his faith and depression and anxiety. In 2017, he released the song, Can't Stop Me Now, Destination. You, uh, you have a song on the new album. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite ones that you've ever made. It's called Destination, yeah. Can't Stop Me Now. And, uh, one of the things you talk about on there is how you were struggling with your faith. Mm -hmm. And can you just kind of talk about some of the events that led up to you hitting that point and then what, what, what kind of turned the corner for you to kind of get back to obviously where you are now? Yeah, I mean, I think um, Gandhi said it, Frederick Douglass has said it, like a lot of people have probably said, like it's not the Christ I have a problem with, it's his people. You know what I mean? And um, and that was my struggle. It's just God's people. It's like, yo, I felt so much disenfranchisement. I felt so much abuse uh, from, I think, um, organized religion uh, just because I'm walking in a direction that a lot of them just couldn't fathom and, and can't understand. 
um, that it really kind of it drove me away. And and sometimes you throw the baby out with the bathwater instead of running away from just the people. You run away from the whole idea of it. And um, and that's where I was at that point in time was just kind of like I don't want to. It's like a, a person in an abusive relationship. They just like, I'm done with relationships. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not done with that person. Um, so that's kind of what I went through. And um, I actually went to Egypt. Everybody can't just fly to Egypt when they feel down and out. I understand. But it was good for me because I got to see a 3,000-year-old civilization that weathered storms. Could be 7,000-year-old civilization that weathered storms. And, um, you know, and, and people's faith were intact through all that. Um, and so it just helped me realize it's, it's, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than America. And so, yeah. Lecrae rap. Yeah, last year, I was feeling hopeless. I just wanted to end. People stealing money from me. Man, I swear, I thought they were my friends. And I was so depressed. I was such a mess. I couldn't shake it off. Also in the song he raps, I spoke my mind. I got attacked for it. Thought these people had my back, boy. Now they telling me I was asking for it. I guess I'm just another black boy. It was a split in 2014 with the movement of Black Lives Matter and police officers killing more black people all over the United States during that time. It bothered Lecrae and had an impact on his direction moving forward. That became a divide between Lecrae and his CCM fan base. Lecrae fan base did not understand why Lecrae was so pro-black. With some people telling Lecrae, he should stick to the gospel. Lecrae said in one of his social media posts, arguments only prove my point. I would never stop. Justice. Side note, the hashtag all lives matter. Hashtag is like spitting in the face of black folk. It comes off as extremely selfish and unsympathetic to a mourning person. Not because all lives don't matter. Of course they do. But it's very clear that black lives don't to many in this country. No one goes up to a lung cancer patient and says, folks with breast cancer matter too. Hashtag all cancer patients matter. That's insensitive. True faith stands up for the oppressed and the broken. Obviously, many cannot see the systematic efforts of racism and abuse authority. Many cannot see that racism has stained this country because there are privileged to not see it. Also, Christians say that preach the gospel is all we need. Ignore how sin affects infrastructures and society systems. They project blame on themselves when they see this kind of post. You assume my anger is at white people and not white supremacy. No, there are many woke white folks out there, allies and friends. But if you ever trust in anything, I've said, if you use my words and stir your hope and joy, then trust the same voice now. This is a epidemic that school books and church services haven't taught you. Lecrae also said in the Washington Post interview, what I bring is unique. No one else brings to the table what I am. That's how I look at myself. A clear voice of the middle. With this being Lecrae's most successful period of his life, it comes at a hefty price. You just gotta remember, a song is a snapshot of a person. Sure. A song is not the person. So I think some people will hear a song and say they know you. You yeah. know, but really, you know a side of me or you know a season of me, mm. um, but you don't know me. So you think about Real Talk. Real Talk was made in the span of two months. That's wow. a two-month season of my life. Wow. You know what I mean? That's two months out of a slice of my life. Like, I'm, I'm 24 years old. You get two months of my 24-year-old year. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... And you was doing the beats. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you, you only getting what I was dealing with in that period of time, not like, you don't really know me. You know, sure. but, but people will take that slice and say, now I know this guy. Yeah. Now I know your perspective on everything and la da 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 because you, I created an expectation. With a setback, it's a setup for a comeback. And next week, we will finish the Lecrae series with the restoration of Lecrae. We will cover the latest chapter of Lecrae's life, 2016 to present. Here, we will discuss how Lecrae overcame to feel comfortable in his skin finally. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and share the video. It helps to grow the channel. Also, let me know in the comment section below what did you think was the fall of Lecrae and what album did you like during this time period. Keep showing love and support. And if you want to contact me personally, text me to 864-383-3495. And if you love Christian Hip Hop, visit Christian Hip Hop Now. 
a blog site for independent Christian hip hop artists. Again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray with CHH now. And this video is going to be awesome. But uh, until next time, people.